Hello there, and welcome to Star Wars Lore. Today's video is all about one of the more uncommon and rarer aliens in Star Wars, the Taos. Now the Taos are a sentient, somewhat large, furry bipedal species that are rarely seen outside of their colonies. They possess four eyes, the two small ones on top were used during the day because of the glare that was or quite often produced from the sun reflecting off of the ice and snow, and the other two larger ones underneath were used at night to provide them with some pretty decent night vision. They are believed to have come from the planet Alcos 3, which is a frozen world with a decent amount of mineral wealth, and they also managed to establish a colony on the world of Auto Plutonia. But, no one actually knows how or when they even managed to get to Auto Plutonia in the first place, because they do not possess the technology to do it themselves. So some believe that they hitchhike on visiting spaceships, whilst others think they may have been taken from their home planet by traders and slavers and they just ended up escaping and forming a colony on Auto Plutonia somehow. In either case, they managed to stay undiscovered until the Clone Wars, where their discovery caused a very brief war between the Taos and the Pentoran Assembly. All because the chairman of Pentora, Chicho, believed that they were a hostile force. Now, during this brief war with the Taos, Chairman Cho was killed, and Senator Chuchi managed to talk with and end the war with the Taos, officially recognizing them as a free, independent, and equal people, and then were just left alone. Now, a typical Taos tended to stand between 2 and 2.5 meters tall, with a muscular build, and were covered head to toe in thick white fur which was perfect for keeping them insulated against the freezing temperatures. Our tails used a small snout that looked kind of like a straw hanging from their chin to both eat and communicate. The tails have relatively large hands for their size with equally impressive sharp claws on their hands that would make even a Wookiee think twice about getting into a brawl with one. Now, despite having these fierce claws however, most tails are gentle and kind-hearted creatures. Now, though they are a somewhat primitive species, using tools to construct primitive shelters to further protect them from the icy cold climate, they did understand basic technological concepts like blaster fire and speeders. Now, even though they lived simple lives, the psychological and societal relationships the Taos had were very complex, and were based on and around the various clans and extended families with some sophisticated traditions in place for the distribution of their resources in order to provide the greatest benefit for their species. Now, unlike the rest of the galaxy, the Taos don't have any concept of ownership, and instead they borrowed objects they needed from their neighbours, who tended to give away what they did not own. As a result, many viewed them as thieves because of this, and kept everything under lock and key. Around 15 ABY, Imperial Scouts found the Taos on Alcos 3 and immediately recognised them as a species that was well built for manual labour and proceeded to enslave them. Now, putting them to work in the Empire's mining operations, they remained slaves throughout the Galactic Civil War. It wasn't until the Empire fell, and not long after the Battle of Endor, that the Taos were finally free. And that's the rather uncommon and mysterious species known as the Taos. Now, be sure to let me know your thoughts on the Taos down below, and to make it interesting, let me know who you think would win in a fight between a Taos and a Wookiee. Also, I'd like to apologise for the lack of videos lately. I have just been super busy with work and life. But I am trying to get back to my regular schedule of releasing one to two videos a week. And hopefully that's starting now. But at the moment, no promises, but I am doing my best. So thanks for watching. I will talk to you all in the next one. And until then, take care and may the force be with you.